So have they made anything for maybe us to bring in other airlines so that we can fly from, instead of just to Hartfield, we could go to Tampa, we could go to Miami, and that would bring in business for our, for our community? I know the changes that, I mean, I can't speak on there. I'm on there to the bar. You can? Yeah. The issue is not the length of the way. Well, that added length does allow for larger aircraft to land here. The issue is the airline companies, and currently Delta is the only airline that serves Valdosta right. through ASA. Delta and um, what they what they see when they do a business analysis is there's not enough passengers to support right. a service that would fly somewhere other than Atlanta. What, what if we only did one more day? We had a Tampa run, we had a Miami run. Well, I'm not an airline. No, I'm just asking because until we, until we bring in other 
businesses are creating the communities that are dying on the bottom. Look at Lake Park. You go to Lake Park, it's it's a it's a ghost town. Tim, I think the other thing too is the inbound flight. Is it, you know, they don't it's kinda of like a shipping company. You don't wanna you don't wanna bring anything back in as well. So if something's coming back from a city like Tampa, you know, they want that plane full coming back in the route too. No, no. We we have this the airport authority has yeah, well, a number of times over the year tried to get uh you know, down to Tampa, flying down the road, and we wasn't, they, they wasn't uh, able to to get an airline willing to do that. Now, I, I still remember all the details of it, but it has been looked into. Because I know, I'm, I'm going to say, that I have to look, I could go to reservations and look, I'm going to say Delta, which is what Delta Air France, Delta flies to all of these different airports. We wouldn't even have to get a different airline to come in, a subsidy, you know, Delta flies to Miami because Delta flies to the They go to LaGuardia all over the United States. Yeah. Their, their problem is, is that if a plane left here and fly to, say, Miami, right. that it wouldn't be enough passengers to get on the plane to Miami have we ever and fly back here. But have we ever thought of maybe asking people? Oh, we've had. Oh, they, they, they they tried, it? yes. It's been discussed. Yeah, they've tried it. It would be cheaper to go from Valdosta to uh, Miami yeah. from Hartsfield and then catch another flight because then you've got, you know, you've got way over. It's, it's been discussed, but it's like him and everybody's saying, it's not a matter of leaving out from here and going to destinations. It's a matter of him coming back this way. Especially since we have a tower-controlled airport. Right. See, it's which, is why a lot of, which is why they do the direct flight to Atlanta because when they go there, they take just as many people back as they do take there, if not more. I mean, I, I've flown them many times, and we'll go there with 35, 40 people, sometimes 50, yep. and come back with the same amount. You well, know, so, I mean... Because you know, Tallahassee, <laughs> no, Tallahassee has a fairly decent-sized little airport. It's not a big airport. It's not an international airport. But you could go quite a few places. We can't even take, you know, do they have the privates like going? Like a private pilot, or is it because we're gonna, you know, take some uh, possible, yeah, <laughs> take some business out of somebody's back pocket that owns more property than 